Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we all know that under MMRC 2.0, Indian Air Force is looking for 114 fighter jets to replace its aging and depleting squadrons. The Swedish defense firm SAB is one of the contenders in MMRC 2.0. They have come up with a bold pitch for its SAV Gripen fighter jet. This is the third time in a year that Sweden is pushing for its fighter jet. Previously, Sweden's defense minister has made quite an attractive offer for India's MRC 2.0. Before that, Swedish Prime Minister Stefan Lofgren has also raised this matter with Prime Minister Narendra Modi during a virtual summit in March. As per the latest update, SAB is offering its latest variant SAB Gripen E or NG fighter jet at half the price of Rafale, along with assistance in development of Tejas MK2 and MK. It has also offered a minimum availability or serviceability rate of 78%, which is quite impressive. Previously, 100% transfer of technology was also offered for SAB Gripen. It has also proposed to build next generation Galenium Nitride TR module based AESA radar with DIDO in case India opts for Gripen. The offer has been further sweetened by suggesting to build 96 Gripens out of 114 in India that will enormously benefit the local aerospace industry. The biggest pitch of Gripen is economy, which in terms of both procurement and operational cost. As per the latest claim by SAB, they are offering 64 Gripen E variant for 6.5 billion euros to Finland including sustainment package for 10 years and transfer of technology. Additional 1.5 billion weapon package has also been offered. The total cost of Gripen E including weapon package is close to 8 billion euros. Indian Air Force has purchased 36 Rafales at a cost of 7.8 billion euros. As per SAB, the weapon package of Gripen E is similar in capability with Rafale and includes Meteor, Iris T, KEPD 350, Taurus, and the Spear. Considering the procurement cost factor, it's almost half the cost of Rafale. It's also important to note that Rafale comes with 13 major and various minor India-specific changes which is not considered by SAB and that will further rise the price of the fighter jet. Another noticeable point is that Rafale is twin-engine fighter jet which will be costly than any single-engine fighter jet like Gripen. Another key selling point of Gripen is their operational cost. If you look at a white paper submitted by the respected International Defense Publishing Group IHS Jains in response to a study commissioned by SAP, it says that in terms of fuel used, pre-flight preparation and repair and scheduled airfield level maintenance together with associated personal cost, the SAP Gripen is least expensive of aircraft under study in terms of cost per flight hour CPFH. According to this study, the operational cost of Gripen back in 2012 was $4,700 per hour. At the same time, Rafale cost $16,000. However, at the same time, Tejas was not operational, which has an operational cost of $4,000 per hour, even lesser than Gripen. The operational cost of this MK2 is going to be close to this MK1 and maybe slightly higher due to more powerful engine and better avionics but will be similar to Gripen. In my opinion, it's not a selling point from Indian Air Force perspective. Another important point to consider is the weapon or payload capacity. Gripen E has a weapon payload of 4800 kgs and has 10 hard points. In comparison, this MK1 has weapon payload of 5300 kgs and 8 hard points and that of this MK2 has weapon payload of 6500 kgs with 13 hard points. 
if you talk about rafales they have weapon payload of 9500 kg with 14 hard points it is mk1 has better payload capacity with less powerful engine than gripen at the same time this mk2 exceeds far more than gripen under mmrc 2.0 Indian Air Force is looking for 4.5th generation fighters with some of the 5th generation capabilities which are completely missing in case of Gripen E or NG. The transfer of technology offered by Sweden is also difficult to achieve as there are many components in the fighter jet which are of American and British origin where technology transfer is not possible. Additionally, Most of the features of Saab Gripen NG matches with Tejas MK2 and in many cases this MK2 is better. It won't be wise to buy a fighter jet which we are already building indigenously with better capabilities. Besides, there were reports of widespread bribery and corruption by BA system and Saab. The scandal has also tarnished the international reputation of Gripen BA systems and Saab. Instead of focusing on MMRC 2.0, Indian Air Force should go ahead with latest version of Rafale which is Rafale 4.1. They should order additional four squadrons of Rafale and scrap MMRC 2.0 and bring their attention to the development of this MK2 and MK This was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector